F141, this is practice final, and we were supposed to sketch a graph of this thing. And it looks like it's going to be a circle to me, as if it's anything, because uh, it's plus. They, these are squared added together, and they both have the same multiplier. So let me kind of reorganize this so I can try and make some sense of it. I'm going to throw the x terms together, throw the y terms together, and I'm going to add 12 to both sides. Great. And so now what I'm going to do is complete the square on each of these. So I'm going to complete the square on the x's, complete the square on the y's. So half of a negative 4 is negative 2. If I square that, that's a 4. So if I add 4 to this side, I'm going to add to add 4 to this side as well to keep it equivalent. Uh, and then half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So if I add 9 here, I'm going to have to add 9 here as well. What that does for me is uh, that means that these x terms right here, I can rewrite this as um, x minus 2, that quantity squared. These y terms, I can write that as y plus 3, quantity squared. And then I um, add these together to get 25. And I see that I have a circle, a circle with a center at 2, negative 3, and a radius of 5. So I go 5 in both directions from my center. So if I go 5 from here, I'm uh, adding 5 to the x values. So that would be the point 7, negative 3, whoops, um, 7, negative 3. And then if I subtract 5 from, from 2, I'm at negative 3, negative 3. And then if I go 5 in this direction, uh, 5 up from negative 3 is, is 2. So I'm at the point 2, 2. 5 down from negative 3 is negative 8, 2, negative 8. And I get a circle. There's my sketch.